Um, hello, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. How are you? So, um, so today uh, I would like to share. Okay. Okay. Today I would like to share uh, some of our work, which is uh, a portable AI inference across in the GPU and the CPU on the edge. Um, so this is uh, some work in the last uh, um, half year probably a little bit more than half a year to work on the server project. We find out some more solutions. So I would like to share that. Uh, about myself, um, 13 years ago, I was a general manager in the Alibaba group. Um, so Alibaba Mobile Technology Group, okay, I was general manager a long time ago, worked with Jack Ma, and uh, then I quit from there. and. Uh, Start my own company named the Lightning Box, which is uh, uh, 10 years ago, it's a listing company in uh, New York. And uh, then I do uh, angel invest for probably 20 more companies, mostly in the Japan, US, and China. Recently, I moved to Japan um, in the less than one year. I'm still learning Japanese. Uh, sorry. Konnichiwa. So currently, um, uh, we uh, um, focus on some of the, some of the peer to peer marketplace and the gig economics. Uh, this is something like, uh, uh, for example, some of the platform like a buy and sell platform. Okay, recently, in the last few years, especially when the AI is emerging, we found out uh, that there was some of the people can provide their services using AI on the internet, which is like the, they share their knowledge use AI. So we, we think this is could be a very um, interesting um, interesting sector. And this is lead to, we find out there was a project name is Gaia Network. It's a peer-to-peer -peer for the knowledge services. So each one of the each one of the people, they can set up their own node on the on the laptop or on the AG server and provide uh, the inference, uh, inference power to the other people, which is like a peer-to-peer -peer network of the knowledge services. So I have a quick demo, and uh, then I will tell why there was lots of the problem, how to solve it. So the demo is um, uh, this demo is uh, by the uh, one of uh, one of my friend. Uh, he is uh, living in Dallas. He is a really devout Christian. So he built uh, an AI which can answer your question uh, just like a pastor. So those, uh, if you have some of the problem, you just uh, like a family, like a wife, like your kids. You some some of the you, you need to refer to him you just uh, ask him the question so here is the example I, I, I translate into uh, Japanese for the, um, the um, um, so basically this one is in English so we are using uh, uh, 11 labs and uh, under the title and then translate translate the title into Japanese use the TDL uh, let me こちらのバーチャルスタイルは、ダイヤノードを利用したテレグラムアプリです。ダイヤノードには、so I waste a lot of time on things not important. So I just uh, uh, go quickly go through it. Um, and uh, 
Christianity. This virtual pastor is totally based on the Bible, and one of the pastor is totally physically there. So we provide lots of the resource for this, and we training it and put it into a into a node, and then share with the people. Right now, after you scan the show the QR code on the right side, yeah, it's. Uh, you can follow it on the Telegram, and then you can ask the question. But basically, it's, uh, it's totally uh, it's all in the English. It's uh, not in the Japanese yet. Uh, it's, uh, but, um, you can find the English version, and uh, you can easily change it to the Japanese. So this is one of the demo. Uh, actually, people can share their knowledge using the AI. Um, and uh, I have a Another quick demo, which is uh, for the, right now today, the most of us is uh, uh, write the code. Uh, we are an engineer, so uh, I have a demo for the coding assistant for expertise on the Rust language. So this program, write the standard payment. Number in the test, we can see the print number. And also, at the same time, um, the, this uh, services, I mean, this is running on a standalone node. Um, by one of our engineer, so he provided these services, and also the services also give you the compiler file, give you give you the, and then you can put together like the cargo file, and then you can compile it and run it. So this is um, uh, totally by engineer. He uh, has some of the extra time. He just do the, this. Do this. <laughs> コード And then you can take the number and try to check what's the if the number like uh, we this example is a very long number is that a prime number or not? The program finally found out uh, this long number is not a prime number. So, so this is an uh, example of the how to do the coding. And, uh, and uh, I have another quick model. Uh, the, uh, demo is uh, what you found in the developer. So, this one is uh, um, some of the, uh, okay, you can see I'm not a good programmer. I need to build an app or build a website. How do, how do you do it? Okay, here is a very uh, a demo for to build a to-do list just in a few minutes. ガイアノードは yeah, it's uh, very simple. And uh, 
from the thing, you probably want to change the, let's see, we, we, I want to add a button over there, I want to remove a button over there, so it's totally um, very easy, so everything is, uh, um, it will update your app, so tell it, it will help you, also it's use the React, so for example, it's uh, update your app and rebuild the app and then you will have a very simple app. Okay, this, this time it will have the button. Yeah, have the delete button, like that, yeah. Okay, I don't go, need to go through all the details, but um, okay. Also, it looks like this one is very powerful. Actually, uh, at early this year, we think, okay, uh, this is very useful. Let's try to promote it. And then we find a lot of problem. Uh, so what's the problem? Okay, first let me uh, tell what's the Gaia network. You see in the last uh, three uh, demo, it's a, it's a personal node, uh, which we run a large language model on your own PC or your own server or some AI server. So it is basically a run AI agent node. It's a fine tune uh, uh, llama with a large language model with a knowledge base in, in it, uh, the personal knowledge and skill. For example, if I'm a um, developer, I'm using some kind of language and I'm really familiar with it, uh, so I can provide uh, my own code in the training it and put it into the put it into my own node, and then I provide the service. So by this way, I can follow my services. I can follow the knowledge. But not, if I'm not, uh, uh, for another example, if I'm not a, a programmer, but uh, I'm a teacher, so I can provide uh, my, my uh, like a uh, course using the AI. So I can provide that. So it should be very much easy for the e each one of us to build their own knowledge base and then provide the services. And then there was a network allow the individuals to send the node to public service. For example, if I build my own knowledge base AI services, I can provide my services to the other people. Other people can connect to my server and ask a question. I can give them the, I can, I can share my knowledge to them. So it's a, it's a very interesting network. But the, when we contribute to this network, uh, we meet a lot of the problem. The problem is everyone, only the software, we find the software, but uh, everyone, we have different kind of the laptop, we have different kind of the server, we have all kinds of the different environments. So the technology change is uh, we need a cross-platform compatibility, we need the very higher compatibility of the Gaia node software, which means if we have thousands of the environment, we need to build thousands of software that is uh, unacceptable. That is really hard. So today the user and consumer, they run their own Gaia node on the really large variety of the devices. Uh, not all GPU, NPU, TPU, and AI accelerator. This is uh, today uh, actually what has happened. So the command operator is the deploy and uh, on the heterogeneous devices. So um, first, like the KTS designed to move and deploy all those files, because uh, I'm running on my own server, I also want to run this on another server, I need to move or copy my binary files to the, to the other server, so we need uh, some of the control controller to, to, to run the whole system. And the developer need to customize and build the tools for the Gaia node. So that is the technology challenge. And how we solve it today, because you can see there's uh, so many of the GPU, CPU, NPU, and the TPUs. Uh, so environment is changing everywhere. OK. Um, the problem scenario one is the uh, is pattern is uh, um, are we using Python? Actually, the answer is no. Python is too complex, complex and not portable. Um, 
the question actually is uh, uh, financial dependency is also very, very big. So at least four gig, but we don't want to use Python. So Python is not a good uh, selection. So here is uh, another example is uh, okay, uh, the Greek Brookman is the CTO of the um, OpenAI. Uh, the, the last year, and uh, he wrote one paper which is much of the model, model modern machine learning engineering is making Python not your bottleneck. Actually, he prefer use the Python and don't want to be a bottleneck. But after half a year, he added his status installing dependent. So you can see the Python actually is too complicated for the machine learning engineer. And uh, uh, not on, uh, on the right side, uh, we well, must uh, reply to his answer. Um, Rust is probably uh, one of the best uh, language to on the uh, machine learning. So we also have the problem two. So we have the problem scenario two. It's uh, very start to rewrite, recompile, and risk and retest for the every platform. Uh, the issue is the hardware is totally different, designed by the different companies, uh, such as NVIDIA or AMD and other companies, they have different hardware. So how can we run the uh, IRM in front end um, on the different of the, those uh, uh, chips? Um, the is like an engineer. I, I write my code on my Mac, uh, on the Mac laptop. We need to run this one in the AWS cloud or run on the Microsoft cloud. Microsoft cloud have different architecture with my my laptop, so that is the big issue. So I want so that I, I have some of the my example is uh, um, deploy a Nvidia uh, device. That is uh, probably very fast to do that. So normally, when you compile the, the Llama CPP, it only fail and then you copy from the MacBook, you cannot run with the NVIDIA. So uh, what's the solution? Um, the Butler Lantern uh, see there was a, when you find something, uh, the plot of problem, you need another abstraction. So today we come another abstraction. We, we know that like a Java, we know like a, they're all, they're all abstract, but uh, we still need um, one more uh, new abstraction. So that is the Wasm Edge. The Wasm Edge, we uh, can, can solve the problem. Firstly, it's, uh, so we, um, our team uh, today is, uh, uh, is running in the, the Wasm Edge is open source. And you can you can check it, and also um, in order to support uh, AI, so we also have the uh, we call it the Llama Edge. So the so they have the two uh, project is open source and also uh, very easy to uh, deal with the deal with the coding, deal with the, the running the AI inference. So the, uh, what we need is very lightweight and also already is portable across the different OS, uh, like the Linux, like the Mac, like the PC, and also uh, support the CPU and the GPU and APUs, and uh, support a wide variety of the models. And uh, it's really simple and a transparent model management, and then uh, also easy embedded into the so I can give uh, some of example of how is the Wasm Edge um, support the Llama large language model. So here is uh, a cardboard that's drawn across CPU and the GPUs. So this is a very realistic, like uh, an engineer he writes the code uh, in the laptop, and then he wants run on the server. Um, how he do it? Very simple, just copy the binary file to there, it will run. So, 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 so,
So it's uh, like a right one, compare one, so run everywhere. So the right now is run uh, in um, NVIDIA GPU environment. And also, uh, ask, uh, ask this in translate into the Japanese, it's a uh, pretty quick. This is the one demo. Okay. So summarize it is uh, we compare and build the WhatsApp app in a CPU only um, Ubuntu stock container. So the person didn't know there was GPU. Our team, the person not necessarily know what kind of GPU in the future he will run, but uh, compare and build on uh, only a CPU base and deploy it run out. Uh, WASM app on uh, M2 Mac, and uh, also we can run deploy and run it on the Nevada P4 machine on the Azure. So they all run smoothly. So, so for the um, for the developers, it will be much easy. The solution will be much easy. You know, we currently support Rust, and uh, for the JavaScript, uh, we almost probably by the end of this year we will release the JavaScript. And um, um, so the, for the for the engineer, uh, you only need to call WASM Edge API to perform inference inference request. And the WASM Edge inference API is totally compatible and uh, based on the W3C um, standard. And uh, contribute uh, and deploy the WASM binary file using ex existing tools. This is a simple Rust code. Write a uh, uh, write a chatbot. It's very simple. And for the operation, it's also very easy. And uh, uh, install WASM Edge with the Llama plugin. Then you will have the AI power. Um, and run the WASM binary app. And the WASM Edge run uh, runtime itself is very secure because it is. Uh, um, very secure sandbox and also can be managed by the other container tools such as the Docker, such as Kubernetes, is, uh, is all available now. 
Okay, thank you.